everybody, and welcome back once again to another episode of Beyond Off Topic Rapid Fire, whatever we put in the headline. I'm not sure. My name is Max Scoville, and I'm joined by Marty, Hi. And Jonathan, Hi. I think it's called Miranda. The Question Block. Hi. Question Block? No, that's the other show. <laughs> I know. Anyway, this is where we get messy and we so answer neat. questions from you guys. I believe these are from the Facebook Beyond group. Facebook, which is facebook.com slash group slash podcast beyond. It's a swell place filled with nice folk. Uh, Marty, you picked these. Which one I should did. With let's first? start with the top. I feel like let's just go top to bottom. We curated them in a very nice list. Okay. Ooh. Orlando Garcia Jr. says, What was your favorite game show as a kid? Mine was Legends of the Hidden Temple. Mine was Ooh. also Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's a Temple. really good one. Um, uh, I've, I've really, that game show was so weird and it was, it, it was kind of scary. Because you yeah. run through that temple and the men would grab oh, you. Oh, stressful. Yeah, but I really like. I've, I've a thing I realize I'm never gonna do is run through that maze. But I really want to run through that. I maze. always felt like I do a better job than those kids. It's like, ah, oh, I can do that. Yeah. You're dumb. Yeah, they are dumb. I feel but like I, they imprinted on like a really weird mentality on you is because you watch that yeah. and you're like, I could do better. And then you, whenever you find yourself in like threatening situations, just you're always like. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here, you know? It's and like, it's like the stress is on. It's like I'm gonna go do my clarinet solo and I'm just like, man, I can't do this. I yeah. How am I ever gonna be a blue barracuda? <laughs> yeah, you're like doing taxes. You're like, yeah. how does everyone else do this? <laughs> it's like you watch these children get manhandled by like a giant Aztec man. henchman. So scary. <laughs> Um, uh, maybe you little, know uh, you guys know Anthony Carboni. He's uh, he was on that show, right? Oh, really? he was as a, as a child. Uh, Anthony Carboni, you may know from uh, I don't know PlayStation E3 pre shows or the internet. Uh, he was on there. I think he did a podcast talking about what that was like. Uh, I believe that was with Jeff Rubin from College Humor. Yeah. But uh, look that up. Mm. He was I think he was a blue barracuda. I also wow. loved uh, Figure It Out. Figure it Summer out Sanders. Sanders. I had a yeah. big crush on Summer Sanders as a kid. Who didn't? Yeah. I like Double Dare 2000. Yes. Yeah. That's good. I watched a lot of Wild and Crazy Kids and it always oh, seemed yeah. vaguely dystopian to me. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. think I know what that is. It was it was uh, I think it was I don't it was like a more it was like a like a more multiplayer version of uh, Double Dare sort of. Was that the <laughs> Niken show? Or is that wild? No, you no, it was. You're wild now. Was on yeah, it, but yeah. it was it was weird because it was all these kids, and they they didn't even bother with like equipment for them. They just gave them different colored shirts, and it was like oh, parents yeah. and kids together, and they'd be like. They'd be in like the middle of a huge field, and I think like the, some of the parents would be drunk, and they'd be. Like, <laughs> it felt it felt like sort of like a lawless third world country version of a Nickelodeon game show. Like they were like, ah, we oh, decided to yeah. yeah. build a huge set piece when we could just use this unsafe playground equipment. <laughs> and they'd be like, I don't know, they'd have like water balloon fights with paint in them or whatever. And it was it was I don't remember it that well. I, I watched a lot of like Nickelodeon reruns mostly because I didn't want to go outside, and I would just be like sitting there like, eh, yeah. yeah. Um, also, uh, not a kids game show, but I watched a lot of Big Brother at a much younger age, probably when I shouldn't. Why? Have. That's I not know. even a game show. It's just about a bunch I, of people a bit kissing of a in a fake house. But they're playing for money, and there are games each week. What do you mean they're playing for money? They're just in a house, right? No, there are competitions each week where, like, there's summer in endur- like they're all Nickelodeon style competitions where it's like summer endurance competitions, huh. summer like mental like gymnastic things, and summer like physical endurance challenges mixed with like putting words together from little tiles you find stuck in the mud it's all so real wait, weird so did with big brother did mtv seriously just reverse engineer road rules and real world they yes. were like what if they did activities outside of the house and then separately they just lived there <laughs> yeah yeah and what if they had yeah, no communication yeah. with the outside world yeah what wow. was that japanese game show that was dubbed in the u.s like it's supposed to be funny like the way they dubbed it was like really crazy oh the ninja one or the extreme no. challenge or whatever mm, no. no maybe ninja warrior? The hole in the wall? no it's like not original... not ninja warrior well, are you thinking of ex- something extreme challenge right maybe i think yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i know exactly what you're talking about yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, i like yeah. that yeah. Oh, that's what yeah. i watched a lot i like yeah. that i like that any of the japanese game shows that i see clips of with no context like the one <laughs> where there's like a, a man and a woman and they're wearing like a hat that's also a basket with holes in the bottom and they start putting bugs and scorpions in the basket <laughs> and it goes in their hair and i think they're supposed to guess what animal it is, but no. yeah, there's another one where they have uh, something in the room is made of chocolate, and they have to find out what it is. Oh, oh so they're like, that's really they're like oh, licking God. doorknobs and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But they like get, bite them. Yeah, yeah, you gotta like the guy dude like finds a doorknob, and he like it's this video of this guy like biting a doorknob, and he's like very gingerly, and then he's like, oh, it's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you win? It's so weird. Uh, yeah, they do a lot of bad things over there. Oh, that's yeah. really good though. Yeah. It's like yeah. that's what I want to see. It's creative. Yeah, oh, I think it's, it's awesome. I think, questions. Yeah, they they push. I saw a really cool one online that was it wasn't really a game show, but it was a Japanese show where they were. Uh, they were having Japanese people try to speak English to Siri, huh. and they like you go in your in your phone settings and you change it from like you know default language to English, and they were giving them like very basic like commands and trying to have them say it, and like apparently the way it, it recognizes like accents and stuff, it just 
doesn't it just straight up doesn't work and they were like ambushing people in parking garage just being like can you talk to the phone and they're like what are you, what are you please get away from me i'm with um, my children yeah it was super fun it was just, i love how it's like hey here's the thing that's like free on everybody's phone yeah let's make a that's game really show good. out of it yeah. Like, that's like weirdly you know ingenious I like that. uh brandon gibbs says oh man we try not to get too serious here but this is a doozy favorite type of juice orange pineapple the people v oj simpsons juice it's a reference for Marty. Oh, uh, hey. Martinelli's the apple juice. Oh, Mr. Name Dropper over here, Mr. Brand Name. Can't yeah. have the yeah. regular wow. juice. I was like, just going to say yeah. straight up apple juice. Yeah, apple juice is all right. Solid. I always get on planes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I get. It's weird that they let the five-year-old go on planes by herself. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Actually, you probably can. I flew alone like when I was... 12, 10, 12? Really? Really? He just yeah. lets you go on there, just like, just up there I'm in the sky? I'm an experienced traveler. My dad used to work for American Airlines, so we used oh, to fly a lot. So when, whenever, well, wasn't completely alone. Like, my parents would be sitting somewhere else. Like, they'd let me fly by myself, essentially, oh, on the plane. Oh, gotcha. And then check in on me, and huh. then leave. That's pretty cool. That's that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's also services for that. Like, the flight attendants can watch your kid, kind huh. of. Like, if they're under a certain age, like, you can have the flight attendants check on them, oh, and they'll kind of nice. guide them to their gates or whatever. Yeah, I rode a Greyhound bus to Vermont once, and I ate a bunch of Skittles gum and threw up. One time <laughs> I ate the candy <laughs> store. <laughs> like, I was yeah. like, oh, boy, I got a Deadpool comic at the, at the drugstore. <laughs> I'm going to eat this gum and, and we'll read the kind. I just threw up all over the floor. Oh, no. to get the stop was just like, damn it. <laughs> just mopped it up. I accepted candy from a stranger. That was... Was it the she's flight nice. attendant? No, she's an old lady next to me. Aww. She's really nice. That's cute. Yeah, I was like, well, Unsafe, that's fine. but cute. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. What's going to happen? I was on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen, remember there was that movie with Jodie Foster where she goes to bed and like her child's kidnapped and everyone's like, <laughs> they're oh, on yes, a plane? Pa- panic room. Oh. No, they're, they're on a plane and she oh, falls contact. asleep and the kid's oh. gone and she's like, where's my daughter? And all the flight attendants are like, you don't have a daughter. And then she realizes they're all in on it. The movie was great. Flight Plan. It was called oh, Flight Plan. Oh, okay. It was a, it was a well, double decker plane. That doesn't sound like different. a great film. Uh, it's like on a plane. Yeah. What's, anyway. the good, what's the good? Ju- what's the good juice though? I I really like. <laughs> I really like. I really like 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 good good apple cider. Not like yeah. hard cider, but like unpasteurized, like roadside New England apple cider that you can't get in California. But that's not like a juice. Though. What do you mean? It's not a juice. That's apple it's juice more- mixed with. Spices and no, stuff. That's no, not no, just no, a pure no, no, juice. No, 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 just pure. Just pure. We're talking about that. No, that no, I just no, want lemonade. No, pure pressed cider. Like it's not. Okay. It's not, it's not mold cider. It's not spice cider. It's just regular. How's it old, different than apple juice? Uh, they yeah. don't put. They don't do anything to it. It's they. <laughs> so the old happened? farmer goes out in the orchard. He puts the apples in the big bucket and he squeezes it. He squeezes uh, the apples. How strong is this? Jonathan, help me out of you. Go to the orchard. I was in New York City. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you had the big apple cider. Yeah. You never went like leaf peeping up in the woods? <coughs> oh, I did in like sixth grade. Yeah, yeah for like a... I, yeah, leaf I know, peeping? Oh, yes, that sounds yeah, illegal. I know the process you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. we did that. We did like, some leaf peeping. Like little bags of apples. Yeah. You stop can it. Just a, Both of you, stop it. It's a thing. It's like, it's like... What a, does that even mean? You, okay, so this sounds like... This, this seriously sounds, sounds very this wrong. This sounds like insanity to anybody who didn't grow up in New England, but when the leaves start to change, you drive out in the country and you look at... At the least, because they're pretty. Oh, like, the entire peep- countryside, yeah, like, and it's called. Peep- they're that's called not, leaf, leaf that's peepers. That's not peeping, though. That's just looking. I don't. It was the 1950s when they named it. Probably. And they were <laughs> oh, like, leaf oh, Garrett. Let's go to the sock hop and do some leaf peeping on the jaunt up there or whatever. I don't know what that's they. That's so strange. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's really funny because like living there, we'd be like, "Hey, cool. The trees change. Great. Let's go do our life. You know, whatever." And then on weekends, there'd just be these incredibly slow drivers with like New York plates, and we're like. Damn it! Get out of here. I think there's a Family Guy bit about it where they're like leafers and they all come in and it's, oh, yeah. that's like a real thing. You have people coming in and looking at the trees because they are different. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start going like, do you want to go picture peeping? And they're like, what's that? And like the music, the museum. Go to the, <laughs> go to the museum. <laughs> go to peep the pictures. Do you want to go creeper peeping? <laughs> oh no! Uh, Is that the zoo? Creeper peeping. Creature peeping. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Sean Ooh. Nazareth said, if you had to choose any moment in life to relive, what is it and why? That was pretty deep. Wow. Good God, yeah. Do you mean like do differently or just redo? No, or relive. Just, like, I think relive. relive means like nothing changes. Oh, man. I don't know. Like, pretty much like what was a good memory? <laughs> can I say like the entire of like, the blank. summer of 1996 <coughs> probably? Just yeah. being a kid and running around in the grass, having hot dogs, you know? Yeah. Watching TV at late at night. Yeah. I, don't I like know. that. Yeah. My first E3 was really cool. It was just like a mm. sensory over. Like, yeah. I haven't become jaded by them, but I remember my first one being like, I've wanted to do this my own. That was me. I was so yeah, so afraid. And yeah, excited. Yeah, it's nervous. Yeah, I like that. 
Mm. First time I went to Tokyo was like that too. Oh, oh God, man. yeah. Yeah, it was surreal. I just want to go again. I don't want to relive that. I want to go at another time. <laughs> the moment they revealed Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3 2013. <laughs> yeah, I was good. actually in the room and I cried. Aww. But uh, Aww. yeah, I was. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, no, like something similar to yours is Max. Like just a summer when I was younger uh, by the beach and just like I have these memories of like not distinct days, but just a day that started at the beach at like 10 a.m. and then ended at like 11 p.m. and we'd just ride our bikes around town. We'd go skateboarding and yeah, we'd right. be in the, the ocean for like six hours and just like one of those type of days. I would just You like can't even comprehend having to do anything. Yeah. You're like, what do you mean I got to go home? It's 1130, mom. Leave me alone. You're like, <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think uh, I'd want to relive reading the first Harry Potter book with my mom Ooh. or my mom reading it to me and my twin Ooh. sister. I like I, I'd, I'd take that, but with a third one. Mm. Third one, I remember my, my mom read that with me and we, we just were both like, oh, there's a time to it. It's getting yeah. real. <laughs> Prior to that, I hated reading and then my mom read that to us and I was like, wow, I love reading and writing. Yeah. I'm going to do this for a living. Oh, that's now awesome. I do. I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Yer Donan says, what is your favorite dish to prepare? Do you got like a go-to? You're probably like a pasta boy. Yeah, a good like. I do, I like doing sort of like a chicken marsala and just like a, a pretty easy spaghetti marinara sauce or something. Yeah, nothing too crazy. So there's this. It's really goofy, but I have this family dish that we make. It's like a side dish. So you know, sopa is just soup in in Spanish, but that is a specific dish for me. Like sopa is one thing. Um, so it's like these. I forget, like, there's a there's a full name, there's an actual name for it. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's just sopa. And we get these weird pastas, so it's like stars or alphabets or little little straw thingies. Mm-hmm. And then you fry them up, and then you add water and tomato sauce and bouillon, and they boil down, and that's it. Nice. It's my family thing. Yeah. Simple there you go. I like it. <laughs> Marty, what about you? I do, I do a good omelet. I like making someone else an omelet in the morning. Yeah? Yeah, like yeah. a good simple omelet, some garden veggies. I don't I don't have the Why haven't you made me one yet? <laughs> Never woken up in my home. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been. I'm on day 29 of that whole 30 diet cleanse thing that Brian Altano never shuts up about. You seem uh, so happy though. That's what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I am so sick of cooking at this point. My oh, no. favorite dish to pre- prepare is a is a, a nice order that I give to a waiter at a restaurant, <laughs> and I don't think about what's in anything he brings me. I just go, I'll have the thing, and then you just I don't have to do anything or make a mess or the dishes or anything. I don't know. I cook a lot uh, at this point because I have to to make sure there's no foreign objects in my food. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I like so I like grilling. Sad. Grilling's yeah. great. I love I love mm-hmm. to do like burgers and stuff, and that's weird. We got a video of the omelet. Uh, oh! What, if you, what did you eat it like a jawbreaker? You just like, dissolved it in your mouth. I, don't, I feel like that would have been easier if I would have just Similar. not done anything and let Barrett in control. But the fact that we were both trying to be in control made it kind of like Octodad. I like that. Uh, play if, that with someone you love. Play Octodad. Oh Octopus yeah. Father. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We had them Octopus in the father. show. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Uh-huh. Uh, David Schiff says, "I'm starting a new job on Wednesday. If you guys didn't work in video games, what line of work do you think you would have gone into?" I'm kind you know, of Max and I have answered this before, so that's why he I didn't, didn't tell us what he's doing. Oh, why don't you your tell damn him? business? We started talking about boys. Then why does he want to know about us? Why can't we know what you? Because it's a question. We'll wait for his answer. Yeah, we'll keep waiting. We're going to message him right now, telling us. Yeah. No. What would you do? I mean, I'd always have still wanted to write, so I'd be writing with another industry, with film or television or something else like it's never not been in my head that Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be writing as a kid I always wanted to either I loved like connects and Legos so I kind of thought about like getting into architecture or building of some kind or wanted to teach for a bit wow but then I got such a good teacher (laughs) you'd be (laughs) such a good yeah I really wanted to teach as well as a kid thanks to what was that Barrett that you quickly swapped on there Mr. Uh, Dornbush yeah I'd want I wanted to teach uh, because of my sixth grade English teacher Mr. McCarthy Aww. Cormac? Mr. McCarthy. Cormac McCarthy? No. Oh. Jeff. I think you should go back and teach. I think you'd be great at it. All right, thanks. I'll just yeah. leave. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They, they're eventually going to start being like, hey, we'll, you don't have to pay taxes if you teach at schools once a day a week or whatever. I don't I don't know. Yeah. I don't work at the government. What do you want? What? Miranda, what about you? I'm not going to do anything for teachers. Like, the writing's on the walls. Yeah. Not until, like, a lot of things change. Anyway, politics. Um, <laughs> I'd, wanna, <laughs> I'd want to be a pastry chef or baker. Ooh. And if I were smarter, I'd want to be an astronomer and go live somewhere dark and cold and look at the stars Aww. and write about them. I feel like you're smart enough to do that. No. Oh, never mind. There's a lot of math. <laughs> right, I take it back. I'm, like, good at math, but I hate it so much. Well, that's, so like, super much. math. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, like, I, I stayed in the regular math class and got, like, straight A, like, 100 straight A. Because I did not want to take the advanced math and actually have to work hard. 
I was just like, no, I'll do AP everything else, but not this. Yeah. This sucks. Yeah. Everyone always tells me astronomy is great, and I don't think so. I don't think it's interesting. I like, I love if yeah. you told me like, hey, check it out. We took a picture of Jupiter, and I'm like, whoa, look at it, it's huge. But if they're like, check out these dots, I'm like, no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but they was, turn into the spoon. <laughs> yeah, when I was in like when I was at uh, community college, uh, I worked at like the faculty copy center, which was right across from the from the planetarium, which we uh, my school had, I guess. Wow. And all these people would be like, yo, I'm taking astronomy. It's sick, and I'd be like. What do you what do you guys do? You're like, oh, we get it's like a dark room, and he shows us all these stars and talks about what, how far away they are from each other. I'm like, yeah, and I'd, I have to like I'd, I'd make copies of like all the paperwork for all the coursework, and I'm like, this looks terribly boring. This looks, <laughs> yeah. this looks like one of those coloring books that has like the connect the dots in it, but you haven't done it yet, and you're like, you know, I, I don't know. I was like, I don't I don't get it, and mm. a lot of people were very excited by it, so maybe it's something cool. I think space is fabulous. I think get me get closer to the stars before you start trying to tell me about them. Anyway, we have to have someone to map them out for you before you can go. Yeah, or we're going. We or don't study need where maps. They go. <gasps> we'll get Whoa. lost Ooh. in space. Uh, oh no! <laughs> you combine several things. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to go totally off on astronomy there. I think it's it's great that you. No, want yeah, to do I mean astronomy. you can't love everything. I hate math. There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I mean I. I me too, totally. That is the worst. I like the idea that you're watching Star Wars. You're like, I don't know why they just keep... Luke, why do you want to leave the planet? Just stay on tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, Jessica Bowen says, what is something that makes you genuinely happy? Marty. I like going to new cities. Oh, oh was Marty... That wasn't a call for me to say. That was you <laughs> saying Aww. me. Aww. But no, uh, not great. Jonathan. I, I like wow. wandering around new cities. Marty's a very happy man. He makes me pretty happy. Uh, I like I like that answer. Um I like when I properly get hooked into into a book, like sucked into a book. Like there's there's something co so, uh, just like games kind of do this, but there's always sort of noise and there's that level of like you have to sort of sometimes there's always some some it, interaction that's not entirely enthralling. Whereas with a book, if you're really in that like got to find out what happens next, turn the page, like that's just perfect because you can't do anything else, you can't think about anything else. You're just reading a book, and yeah. it's you know yeah. yeah. Both of us did that recently with Annihilation. Yeah, which is a very good one. We're like, oh, very awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. glad you guys like that. Yeah. Maybe I'll read that next. Do it. Kind of on the same vein of that. Like, I just love good mm. stories. Like, if I have a good story that I can just focus on and be like immersed in, that's all I really want. Like, even some movie, TV show, book, game. Like, those are hard yeah. to find. I think I pretty much like anything now that doesn't that makes me not check my phone. Yeah. Like yeah. Whether I'm playing something or in a movie theater watching something or reading something or having an amazing conversation with someone mm. or in a place like, I don't know, I find myself so often doing that. Yeah. Just like flipping through Twitter and not even, nothing is coming to me. I'm just yeah. hitting that button. So mm -hmm. something that makes me not want to do that is great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, it's music, like finding the right songs or just the right album. Like I, the one lament in my life is that I can't play music well at all, even though I've tried every now and then and I'm terrible at it. But like finding music that inspires me is like the most incredible thing of like any art mm. form for me because a song in three minutes can capture what a movie does in two hours or a book does in 600 pages. Like yeah. they can just capture this single emotion and make it so beautiful and impactful. And I like finding those songs that really hit with me and connect with me are the best. Yeah. I'm totally with you on that. I, 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 love doing all sorts of different types of artsy fartsy things and music is one thing that I've always was like I don't know what I'm doing which makes music itself so much more magical yeah, you know yeah. like I can cook and I'm like I'll go go eat food I'm like this is great and then I'll go home and I'm like oh this is also good but like there's no and I'm you know looking at pictures I'm like oh that's a good drawing and then I'll draw something I'm like I like that one too but there's no with music I'm like I don't know how that works it's wizardry. It's yeah. absolute magic. I'm sort of so. the exact same. Like I could, I could write a story. I could draw a picture. Like it doesn't mean it's gonna be good, but I understand the I've fundamentals of it. Where my <laughs> drawings are not good. There's the pig with so, the letters. <laughs> um, whereas with music, I literally don't know where to. So start. none of you have like played an instrument. I played a clarinet and a saxophone, but I never like created music. Okay. I tried to play the tuba in fourth grade. Wow. Yeah, it didn't work out so hard. I've tried playing guitar and piano like once a year for the past like 10 years. Wow. At the same always time? Yeah, always at the same time. It's the hard part, Probably really. that's the problem. Uh, but no, like yeah, every year usually for like a month or so I'll dabble in one or the other Wait, did and you then just kind of give did it you up. Play something? Yeah, I played clarinet for a very long time. Did you? Um, I started in like sixth grade and played through college. So yeah, do you ever yeah. do you ever like just bust out the clarinet? And I miss it. Like actually, really? yeah, I miss my clarinet. If I have somebody, one. If it's somebody broken, handed though. you a clarinet and they were like, "Here you go," would you just be like, "Oh yeah," and then just start like, <laughs> How come oh, yeah. I play my solo from seventh grade? Wait, we have <laughs> two, move on, Squidward. We have two <laughs> guitars right near all of our desks. Why don't we put a clarinet there? 
Because it's, it's not the it. same. Like no, you gotta you get reeds. D Y O R. Bring your own reed, yo. It's a woodwind. <laughs> You've gotta moisten the reed. <laughs> yeah, you have to like. How do I remember yeah. that? You have to like put it in your yeah, and you have to suck on the reed for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and, then, and yeah. then you can put it on. And, and yeah. it I, I wonder so if I could easily. make. I played clarinet for like two or three years. I wonder if I could make a noise in a clarinet. I play clarinet. You probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like a Canadian goose. Yeah, I just like the goose. And, yeah, also, I played Mark that. I played a, a little bit of French horn and alto clarinet. Nice, awesome. Marty, you also create music every time you go over to Andrew's desk. You sing oh, yeah, a nice a little ditty on the Andrew's guitar. Desk and I always strum it and then make like a, that once was Andrew Goldfarb. <laughs> and I like, it's mostly like me asking him to get coffee or a beer. <laughs> yeah. I like to write songs that don't rhyme and they just sound like they're going to, but then it's always like <laughs> just incrementally It's just off. Awesome. And you're like, why, you're like, why'd oh, you do that? Mm. That yeah. doesn't work at all. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, this is our disappointing answering of your questions. I thought it was great. I had an okay time. It didn't make me happier than anything else I've ever done, but that's okay for now. <laughs> anyway, if you like this and you want to do more of this, then hit the button that says the subscribe on it and push the bell. I don't actually know what that does, but pound that like button Calls if it owes cops. you money. Say, the cops will show up at your house if you push the bell. Yeah, jump in the comments. Uh, please be nice, you know, just be kind to each other. And then uh, that's the end of this video that we're making. It's over and Marty's doing weird puppet stuff with the paper. Off topic. Barrett, push stop, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, Barrett.